Hi, welcome to another episode of The Young and the Restless. We see someone is outside the coffee house, continue to watch Sharon and her granddaughter. Then we see Adam arrives, and he and Sharon are there talking about the baby. Then Sally comes, and she watches Sharon and Adam with the baby. Then we see Nick runs into Victor at society and he asks Nick to join him. But Nick is furious and informs Victor about something going on with Vic. Nick is about to snitch. Then we go to Newman and we see Vic and Nate in the office talking about business. Then Nate gets a text from Elena and Vic questions with the change of mood. And he said it was Elena asking him to send her stuff to a storage. Then we see Tucker and Ashley and the baby and Devon continue to enjoy their time. And Tucker asks Abby to dance. Then we see Chance goes over to the Abbott house to see Jack, but Summer is the one who answers the door. Summer tells Chance that her mom is alive and out there somewhere. And Chance questions when she decided that information because earlier she wasn't on that path. Then we go back to the coffee house and Adam tells Sharon that he wants his daughter to be like his mom, Hope. And we see Sally is there listening and Sharon tells him that he will he will be a good dad uh, to a girl and not to worry about it because Adam is concerned that he only has sons. And then Sally interrupts and says that she agrees with Sharon and Adam pretends like he gets a text and steps aside to talk on the phone to avoid Sally. Then we see Nick vents to Victor to have a reaction about Nate and Nick being together but Victor doesn't care. Nick continues to rant but I'm like Nick wasn't it two episodes ago that you tell Victor to stay out of his children's life? Why does that that apply to you and not Victoria? Back at Newman, Nate and Vic discuss him and Elena drifting apart ever since he changed his job. And Nate has remorse for the cha- for the hurt that he caused Elena, but he is and he's also concerned what people will think of him. But he assures Victoria that he will stay with her and they kiss. Then we see Vic thinks that they should go to get a drink. Uh, Then we see Abby questions Tucker's intentions with his mom while they are dancing back at the coffee house. Sally asks Sharon if she thinks the baby is sensing the conflict around her right now. And Sharon tells her to just enjoy her pregnancy. No need to be in conflict with Adam. But Adam is on the side listening. And Sharon asks sally to watch the baby while she goes to the back to do something adam comes over and says that he hates making her feel uncomfortable around him sally says that she isn't uncomfortable uncomfortable adam doesn't believe it and adam tells her not to worry about him just focus on the baby Mariah and Tessa book a room at the hotel and they get down. Then we go back to the Abbott house and Summer says that she is on board because she thinks that her conversation with Danielle clarified that maybe her mama is still out there and Danielle wouldn't lie to her. And she asks Chance to admit that he thinks Phyllis is alive and Chance says that he will be honest if Summer is. Then we go back to the athletic club and um, Tucker breaks the news that he's engaged to Ashley. Abby runs over to Ashley to ask if she and Tucker are engaged. And Ashley rubs it off and says that it's false. She was just doing that to provoke Jack back at society. Nick continues to cry uh, and he about Nate and Vic being together and Victor says that Nate is a good guy he's not like JT Billy and Ashlyn and then Victor says that he finds it ironic that Nick is the one questioning Vic's relationship when he wanted to lash out on everyone when they questioned his relationship and choices 
Victor then says that for what it's worth, he thinks that both Nick and Sally and Vic and Nate relationships are doomed to end soon. So it's not worrying him. And Nick says that he and Sally are solid. Meanwhile, we see where Nate and Vic are at the Lely Club getting a room. And then we see Nick doesn't think that they will last long, but he and Sally will. Then we go back to the Abbott house and Chance believes Summer is hiding something from him. And she says that she listened to Danielle. And Summer says that what can we do to help her, their mom if she comes back? She doesn't trust Kyle and Jack to help her. And Chance says that he will do everything to help her. Back at the coffee house, Adam and Sally... Um, Adam tells Sally that he will put his feelings aside for the baby's sake. And Sally questions if he really can respect her boundaries. And then Nate gets another text while they're making out and he ignores it. Then we see Ashley says that the proposal was fake with just to get back at Jack. And Tucker says that it was real to him. Devon and Abby thinks that they are moving too fast. And Ashley and Tucker leaves to the side. And Abby and Devon thinks that it's weird their parents being in a relationship then we see chance questions what what summer and danielle knew and if they were arguing about it he claims that he believes summer knew all along and he thinks that the questions that summer was asking asking him all along was to have a feel on him and chance theorizes that summer knew and he she was just trying to get ahead of the story and trying to hide it from Kyle. Back at the jazz lounge, Ashley isn't happy that Tucker told Abby about the engagement and he asks Ashley what kind of proposal would she want if they were to propose and Ashley says that she doesn't like flashy and extravagant things but she likes surprises. Then we see at Abbott House, Summer questions why Chance is interrogating her. And Chance says that the only way that he will buy it is if someone else, plus Daniel, corroborates the story that Phyllis is alive. And he accuses Summer of keeping the info from Kyle back at the coffee house. Adam vows to Sally that he will do nothing and do anything for the baby and Sharon comes back and Sally leaves and Sharon and Adam discuss the bottle she got anonymously and she said she thought it was from Adam and we see that someone is outside watching and Adam says that it's a secret admirer from the past thanks for watching bye